Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK and Sim Airport. Uh, today we have to do a bit of maintenance and cleaning and tidying. I'll see if I've got enough money to finish off building the terminal here. That would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, we need to. I think priority is this ID area. That's just definitely too slow. Um, we need to speed that up somehow. Think about how we can do that. Um, in terms of runways, we're good. In terms of baggage management, we are good. Um, there's still some development and some fixing and some improvements that need to happen. But overall, I'd say it's running really rather well. Um, I will at some point reschedule all these flights and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss the extension uh, in, in the next episode. Today is about getting this airline interest back up because 57% we had a flight reneged in the last episode and that is a big problem so I want to get on top of that and fix it before uh, before anything else happens uh, oh yeah I didn't realise you could increase that okay cool so I've just boosted the light rail um, frequency. That should help things over here a bit, because you can see it's rather busy. Um, and at some point, I will be putting in an extra road over here. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's why people are grumpy. Hmm, that's an interesting point. Let's start the day off, because we're not going to be able to do anything internally until after the last flight has left. So let's have a look here and see how expensive it's going to be to build a road. Yeah, it's going to be pricey, isn't it? Wow, that's 232,000 just to do that. Make sure we've got this flipping arrow facing the right way. This is far from cheap. Um, okay, I'm going to be smart here, I think. Wow, that has eaten up so much of our money. I'm not sure how that's going to work. That might need to be a right-hander there, mightn't it? Like that. Okay, well, we've got the second road in. My thinking is I'm going to um, put another road in here rather than closer to the airport, and I'm hoping that's going to fix that problem. I'm not sure how well it's going to work being this close to each other, but think positive thoughts and hope for the best. Sorry? Pardon, darling? Do I like aeroplanes? Yes, I like aeroplanes. And I don't like big aeroplanes. You don't like big aeroplanes? But, but they make me... Are they too noisy? Yeah, yeah. and loud. They are loud, aren't they? Yes, they do. Are you still watching your film? Yeah. Go play Lego. Um, I'll play Lego Island. Go on then, off you go. Oh, 
Okay, just a, sh a brief interruption for my youngest daughter. Do we have an issue here, or are they just unloading? Hopefully they're just unloading. And equally, hopefully, um, that will be running a lot better. I can actually extend the, the drop-off zone now, thinking about it. Where's drop-off? I can actually come further down here now, so that vehicles can stop either side. And that shouldn't be an, an issue anymore. Um, where's pickups? Pickups. Do the same over here. I think that will... I think that'll help things a tad in terms of getting rid of people. Maybe. So the buses are still coming around this way, which is okay. No issue there. I could probably double up this road a bit. Maybe I could convert part of this into a road. I don't know. I don't really understand the road thing. It doesn't seem to offer a great deal uh, in my in my head, to be perfectly honest. Right, anyway, how are we doing over here? Looks like we've got plenty of storage. I was thinking about extending it here, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. Um... And everything seems to be running really rather well. Have we got enough cash to build here? I rather doubt it, but we'll have a go. How many dollars? 184. Okay, we can do that bit. We won't be able to do the other side, but that's fine. Right, let's speed things up because we need a bit of cash coming in before we can uh, boost the next bit. 57.28. Now, I'm surprised that isn't going up with the amount of stuff that we have uh, built and what not. Maybe a huge cafeteria in here will really boost things. I'm looking forward to building this, I really am. I'm hoping by the end of uh, this episode we'll have this entire terminal completed and then we can focus on the internals, the internal workings and get, get this boosted and get this boosted. See, the same environment is 45%, but is it? There's a reasonable amount of info. Okay, admittedly over here I haven't built anything yet. Yeah, okay. I grant you, we could definitely beautify this area a tad, couldn't we? I mean, this is pretty good here. I ought to replicate what I've got there over here, perhaps. And a bit more tidying required. I'm not sure why these decorative plants aren't having a better effect. Maybe a few more plants in this uh, hallway area. But, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not too bad, surely. Okay, how are we doing over here? Nearly done. That's what we like to see. Get ready to clear these walls out. Okay, that was the game glitching all over the place. That was weird. Oh, I see, because they haven't, they haven't finished building that piece of wall. That's what the issue is. Right. Understood. Let's just clear the bits we can clear, then. Because it's secured. Just got this one weird, random, unfinished bit in the middle. Which is so odd. What are you doing, you morons? 
get rid of that bit of wall. Actually, I might start introducing sort of random pieces of wall like that just to... Um... Oh, cool. We're at the end of the day. Right. Let's take a look at and see what we can do with this area here. I think, first of all, a bit of wall is a good idea. Now, this is what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking... Like so. And we'll leave a section down the No, don't put anything there. Thank you. Does that make sense? I think that might speed things up. I'm hoping that will speed things up. And once these guys are out of the way, we'll build a few more as well. And uh, hopefully... That'll just run like clockwork. Just need to extend the security zone out a tad. Like so. Yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm thinking the, the possibility, the potential is super fast ID checks. At a complete gamble. I don't know if it'll work or not. I think I've increased the number of ID desks that we have. Let's just speed that up and see if I need to employ a few more members of staff. If I do, then I've definitely increased uh, the number of ID checking stands, which would be good. Ah, interestingly, we don't need to get any more staff. So... Maybe a few more desks are in order. Let's try that. And customers, uh, passengers are arriving already. So we can test this theory. Oh my God. Look, there's no staff. Is this why it wasn't working very well? I'm confused now. Look, look, there's no staff on anything. We've got 100 security members now. This is getting a bit crazy. Is that it? Is every piece of equipment got a security staff member with it now? Let's just go for one final one and see where they walk off to. If they go to the cafeteria and get a coffee, which looks like that might be where they're going, then I think we're good. Okay, this is a complete gamble, guys, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. We're just going to hope for the best. Speed it up and see how congested this area gets now. There's a little bit of congestion, but it's like there is a sense of no matter where you stand, there's an ID desk to deal with you. So hopefully that will just go really smoothly. Maybe I need to add some cues down here or something.
I mean, as long as people are getting through quick enough to get on their flights, then it's a success. But it's a it's a bit worrying. It's a bit worrying, actually, how I created all this space, but. Didn't really leave any for this ID area, which is a bit bit of a shame. And I kind of feel like this cafeteria interrupts the flow of people. It might have been a better idea to put cafeteria either side on the edges. I don't know. I might have to redesign this whole entrance area. But nobody's missing their flight so far. I do want to sort these toilets out as well. Let's, uh, let's remove the central wall. Get rid of these excessive doors. Get some walls in there. Somebody's stuck. That hasn't happened for a while, actually. Somebody getting stuck. Yeah, look at this. We've we've actually got nobody here, which kind of suggests that this ID section is working, which is great. I was thinking I could possibly extend security out this way, and then that gives a bit more space to the ID area. I don't think that would cause an issue, would it? We just extend security out all the way to there. Oh no! These guys are stuck. How ridiculous. Why would you walk in there? Fear not, an engineer is on their way to you. There we go, done. Get rid of that bin. Right, okay, planning. Let's uh, clear this, because we don't need that anymore. Clear that. Clear all of that. Now, I want, what the hell happened there? I want these toilets to be a pleasurable, a pleasurable experience. So we are going to be thinking a lot. I think that's working, by the way, guys. The ID section. I think we're, I'm quite happy with that. I don't think that's going to get overrun at all. Uh, and like I say, I've just extended security out this way, so I think um, we could do a rather good job of uh, I don't know actually, thinking about it, because if I move these back, can't people just escape through the toilets? Maybe I ought to shut these doors off. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, otherwise, security is going to be breached. So, just wait for the engineers to come and remove those. And then we can pop that in there. Cool. Because once they've passed through security, they should be fine. So sort of come back and do whatever they need to do. There we go. Perfect. Um, I 
Now, this shouldn't cause an issue because everybody will have already passed. That is annoying that I can't get that centralised. Is four going to be enough? I think four will be enough. Right, let's get those built. It's just about streamlining this whole process, I guess, isn't it? That's the... That's the goal. Do I have any coffee? Oh, I do. Nice. Fire up the brain a bit. Okay, so that is one less scanner. So we'll drop three of those, leaving two on the outside. People are just walking through this this plant area without any kind of issue. And we'll put some flight info smack bang in the middle there. Now, it's got extremely busy up here. So I'm sure you can see. But it seems to filter itself through rather quickly. Oh no, no. Damn it. Something's happened. Some people have missed their flight. Or is it just a couple of people? I think this is working. I'm not overly convinced that I've got this right yet. There does appear to be something of a delay here, I have to say. Might chuck an extra two in there, which actually gives us more than we had originally. I mean, design-wise, that doesn't make any sense, but... I assume that's working. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know where we are with this right now. <laughs> there are just way too many people. I mean, we are so busy. I'm, this is just unsustainable, isn't it? This cafe has to go. Which means I need to build a cafe here. Oh, wow. Maybe this should be ticketing. I, I think maybe I suggested this before, didn't I? Turn this into ticketing and then this whole area could be security. That might work actually. Oh, wow. When you get this many people, you suddenly realise how difficult managing people is. I mean, this is just so busy. This is so unbelievably busy. If I did that, then this wouldn't need to be here anymore, would it? Or would it? Because uh, people will have passed through security here. If I turn this into ticketing and this whole area into security, then that might work. And then I could redesign these toilets to be accessible from the front here at ticketing. Okay. Redesign idea. I think that's what we're going to go with. That is a massive rebuild. Look at this. Oh, 
I do need to fix this up. Right, do we have enough cash to build this? Yes. And that'll be the terminal completed then. Um, and I think it's just a case of finalising things. Why is there a delay? I definitely need to um, address the scheduling here. I think there's a few problems. This is the first time since I started playing it that I feel a little bit like, wow, this is tricky, <laughs> if that makes sense. I could also trim this down properly, because I think um, one side is longer than the other. How can I check that? So we're going to go from the wall, one... Oh, okay, we can just do it like that. So that is nine, and this is nine. So actually, that's perfect. Ah, this is where the problem is. That needs to come up here. That needs to be one piece longer, which will knock all of that together, which will give us the exact amount of width there. Okay, I get it. I know where I went wrong now. Okay. Dismantle that and build a wall there. That gives us the, the correct width. Um, right, so we want to get rid of this cafeteria because it's just in the way. And we're going to turn this whole area into ticketing. Maybe put some small um, kiosks in here so people can eat if they so wish. Um, this is going to have to become... A massive cafeteria and deal with all of these people in terms of food needs I think that's the way that's gonna have to happen there are still people missing their flight too many how are we doing here is that another one that's been reneged or is that still the same one it's interesting. Maybe it's a bug that once it's been reneged, it doesn't actually disappear from the schedule. We are still in early access. These are the kind of bugs that you can expect. Uh, right, let's get that wall built first and then we'll remove the outside wall. Uh, the inner wall, excuse me. You can see the game is struggling, but it's actually doing a reasonable job considering how busy this is. I'm actually quite impressed with how it's still running. Barely. It's barely still running. Have I just broken security? Nope, somehow. Still haven't broken security. Not sure how. But okay. Yeah, people are getting held up here. This is not running smoothly enough. Okay, a redesign is definitely in order. And look, oh my god, look, airline interest is dropping still. 
We definitely need to fix this. Fix this. Excuse me. Right. This is done. Thank goodness. As soon as um, today's flights finish, we're going to build the central cafeteria area. Um, and that will be the end of today's episode. Um, once that's done, then the complete rebuild of this entrance section has to happen. Because uh, it's just not flowing fast enough with the volume of people we have. There's no two ways about it. Thinking I might have to reduce the size of those uh, toilet areas as well. Oh, it's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to think about it before I do it. It's going to be a massive build. There's no denying that. Right, we must be thinning out now. This must be the last few people. Surely to goodness. Yeah, some quite a few people there missing their flights again. People are not happy, and I can completely understand why that is. Right, okay. Here we go, then. Start by moving these. And get rid of these. That's that done. Obviously, the design we had on the large gates isn't going to work down here because we've got these three uh, ticketing desks, so we can't have seats down the middle. We'll have to think of a different design for over here. Probably seats down either side, something like that. But, uh, yeah, let's get the gates in place first. to make sure we don't have any unnecessary hold-ups further down the line. Oh, wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. I really don't like these queue systems. It'd be nice if you could hold shift and then it would just stay straight regardless of what you did with the mouse. That would be it. That would be a good development, I think. Okay, cool. Completely forgot these guys. Nope, that's in the wrong place. Wow. Try that again. Oh, wow. Obviously, a different design of seating is going to be required over here. But overall, pretty, pretty good. Now, yep, that's assigned to there and there and there. 
And that's getting its baggage from there. Maybe unassign that and maybe add that there. Just I think that'd be quicker. Yeah, I think so. Right. Now, assign to the gates. I keep forgetting it doesn't work that way round. But it does work that way round. Perfect. Uh, we'll sort the queues out in a minute. In fact, uh, should we sort the queues out now? My God, this is, gets complex when you've got this many things. Good. 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 Right. God, time consuming this is. Wow. That one and that one. That one and that one. Actually, if you get really close in, it works fine. That's a lot easier doing it that way. Assign to that one and that one. That one and that one. That one and that one. And I think our staff has just arrived. Yeah, look at this. Excellent. Um... Oh, wow, that wasn't assigned. That was weird. That wasn't that assigned to anything. That's that one done. That's that one done. And that's that one done. Perfect. Perfect. Right. That's that done. Now, for this kitchen area it's really important that I think about what I'm doing so I am going to be planning it before I build it wow look we got all of that done within an hour of uh, the new day which is cool actually guys um, I just realized how long I've been playing I think I'm going to call that a day for this episode um, and when you come back for the next episode it'll be the cafeteria being built in this section and then the whole front section redesigned to cater for the epic epic amounts of people that we got coming through so i hope you enjoyed this episode um maybe it wasn't the best most structured of all the episodes so far but uh we did get a lot done a lot has happened um and i think considering how big this uh, airport is it's actually running fairly well could be better but it's pretty good it's pretty good anyway thanks for watching till next time take care goodbye